Around a year ago, Andy looked at some affordable streaming products from German brand Streamplify. Well, we're checking out some new additions to the Streamplify lineup today in the form of these, the Glowlight 14 and the Mountain. Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome to Kit Guru. As I mentioned just now, today we're taking a look at some new products from Streamplify. Now getting into streaming can be a very expensive game, especially if you go all in to get the perfect setup. Something that I know from personal experience is really easy to get stuck in that rabbit hole. While Streamplify aim to make things a little bit less painful with their range of budget orientated and affordable streaming gear. We're gonna be taking a look at two new items today, the Glowlight 14, a 14 inch circular LED light panel, which retails for 80 quid. And then the Mount Arm, a cold shoe desk mounting solution for mics, lights, cameras, and whatever else you want to attach to it. This will set you back 45 quid. I've also got the Streamplify mic and webcam, which Andy featured in his review, which I'm going to use to create a simple streaming setup later in the video. But if you do want to see the full review of those products, then check out Andy's video, which we'll link in the description down below. First I'm going to run through the glow light and then we'll move on to the mount arm and how the cam and the mic can work with it and it all fits together in the sort of Streamplify ecosystem. The glow light 14 then is a desk mountable 14 inch diameter circular LED panel that contains 220 LEDs. It's designed for indirect lighting so bouncing the light off of a wall which is a great way to soften any light that you're going to shine at yourself while you try and become the next Dr. Disrespect. Lighting is one of if not the most important step in making any camera look good. This light comes with both a remote control and a touch control panel located on the back, making it really easy to adjust the brightness, which tops out at 2500 lumens and the temperature, with the glow light having a color temperature range of three to 6,000 Kelvin and four preset lighting profiles, which will give you 100% brightness at 3000, 4,500, 6,000 Kelvin, and then you've got a custom level which you can tweak to your needs. The touch control panel and remote control are both really easy to use. There are only a few buttons on each of them for changing the brightness in steps of 5% and changing that color temperature in steps of 100 Kelvin. You can dial in a shade of white that will suit the mood that you're going for, be that bright, beaming, brilliant white, or something more warm and cozy. The package includes the glow light itself and an adjustable desk clamp that can be extended up to 91 centimeters high, easily enough to get it up high enough so you don't get any glare in your glasses if you use it as a direct light, something which any glasses wearers out there can agree that it's, it's a real pain. The build quality on the glow light 14 does feel a little bit budget if I'm honest, but that's the idea. This light costs 80 quid and a comparable light from most other decent brands will cost you much, much more than that. The main housing of the light itself is all plastic, as are the handles on the fixings and the clamps for securing it in place and at different angles. Now, I don't mind the plastic used for the housing, but I would really like to have seen metal used for those tightening clamp handles. The bolts inside them are metal though, so it's not all bad. The desk clamp itself is metal, again with plastic handles. The clamp itself does feel quite sturdy and I've got no worries about this thing moving once you've been tinkering with it and secured it in place properly. This light gets really bright, 2,500 lumens as I mentioned earlier, and it does that with a CRI rating of 90 plus. And CRI, or Color Rendering Index, is a way of measuring how natural colors look when they're lit by an artificial white light source, such as this panel. Anything above 90 is considered excellent. Now, when starting out in content creation or recording yourself and you look into lighting, you're bound to hear about getting a three-point lighting setup that consists of a key light, a fill light, and a rim light, or they may go under different names sometimes, but that's the basis of it. And while this is a proven setup that will make a subject look better, it's only really something that you should look into once you know that content creation isn't just a fad that you're going through or something that you're just trying out. For anyone dipping their toes in or just starting out, this light is enough by itself. 
It will easily light a single person without any issues and it provides enough light to get a decent looking image out of the Streamplify cam. So we've jumped into OBS with no lighting on at all. Obviously there's lights in the background from my Tarkov sign and around the pegboard, but the glow light isn't on currently. If we turn it on, this is the glow light at 5% at 4500 Kelvin, so balanced temperature in the middle. We're gonna go up through the range of lighting. So I'm just spamming the button, it's going up in 5% increments, up to that maximum of 100%, which is a bit overexposed now on my forehead and stuff. So we'll bring it back down a bit. It's got a good range of lighting. That's improved the image quality a bit. This is on the Streamplify cam, which is a 1080p 60 FPS cam at default setting. So you could tinker with it a little bit and get it looking a bit better. The temperature will take all the way down to the minimum of 3000 Kelvin. So it's, that's a bit of a warmer temperature if you wanted a cozy vibe to your stream. And then we'll go up in 100 Kelvin increments all the way to the top, which should look a bit bluish as we get to that 6,000 Kelvin maximum range, which is that there, which is a lot more bright white light and a lot more crisp and vibrant, rather as opposed to the cozier vibes that we had at the bottom end of the spectrum. So we'll turn that light off. That's the difference that it makes. It is currently on 45% at 5,300 Kelvin. So you can see just how much of a difference. That's just the one light at all. The camera's got auto white balance, so it's kind of adjusting when I turn the light on. You can see it adjust and then it figures itself out. But that's the performance of the Glowlight 14, which is mounted just up on the left-hand corner of my desk, just above me up there. If I look up there, you'll see it in my glasses. So there we go. That's the sort of performance you can get out of a single light panel. Overall, I really like this light. It produces more than enough light. It's bright. It doesn't have RGB, which you don't really want when you're lighting stuff, but that is a feature that I'd like to see in a more improved model or maybe a more expensive model from Streamplify. But overall, for a white, simple white light to light your stream is decent. And moving on to look at the mount arm then, and versatility becomes the focus point. The mount arm is a pretty clever product and I've been impressed with it. At its core, it looks like a mic boom arm, but along the top edge is a cold shoe mounting rail, which allows you to mount all sorts of video and streaming equipment. It comes with these neat little rubber cable clips, which are great for keeping mic cables out of the way. The end has a 3 8 inch threaded mount and Streamplify do include adapters in the box for 5 8 5 8 of an inch and a quarter of an inch threads, a bit of a tongue twister, so you should be covered with whatever mic you want to stick on the end of it. They also include a smartphone adapter and a ball head mount which can be attached to that cold shoe rail, meaning you can attach pretty much anything you want to this arm. And coming back to the point I made about three point lighting when talking about the glow light, as I have that glow light positioned to my left, and then the arm on my right, I can easily attach this small LED panel I've got in my box of video gear to the top of the arm and use it as a little fill light. You can even mount a tablet to the top of it and use it to monitor your stream chat if you're running a single monitor setup. It's only available in the white design that I've got here. I'd love to see it in a black design in the future, but overall, it's a really clever, really nifty little product which kind of adds something to the standard boom arms that we've been seeing for years and years. Now again, the build quality on offer from Streamplify in the mount arm is not the greatest in the world, but when you consider the price, 45 quid, it becomes much easier to stomach. And just like the glow light, Streamplify are focused on using stronger materials where it really matters. The desk clamp and the screw thread on the end are both metal and the whole thing is reinforced with steel. The outer shell, the white bit, is made from ABS plastic, which feels okay. The mount arm can be tightened at any of the joints using the included Allen key, and it can be made to feel quite rigid, rigid enough to support uh, a collection of devices up to a maximum of 2.5 kilograms. Now, I think this arm is a genius idea from Streamplify. It's sturdy enough to use as a mic arm, which I feel is its main purpose, but then versatile enough to use as a music stand, a light stand, a phone holder, or almost any fledgling content creator would be able to find a use for it, I reckon. In terms of adjustability, 
It can be swiveled 360 degrees. The angle can be adjusted by 210 degrees and it'll extend out by 75 centimeters. But just bear in mind that the further you extend it out, the more stress it's gonna put on the joints if you've got heavy items mounted on top of it. Now I've been using it as a mic arm pretty much exclusively since I received it for review and it's been great. The Streamplify mic fits pretty perfectly on the end and the cable management clips really help keep my setup looking tidy. I've also stuck the ball head mount on the top of the mount arm, which is perfectly positioned above my mouse and would make a great mounting point for a mouse cam. Really good for any budding FPS streamers. I've installed that light that I mentioned earlier as a little fill light. I've got the Streamplify mic on the end of the mount arm and the Glowlight 14 is sitting behind my monitor, bouncing light off the wall. And then I'll set that Streamplify webcam up as the mouse cam that I mentioned a second ago. And then I'm going to jump over to OBS and show you what this setup can do. Here we are jumping into a typical stream setup then, which will enable me to more easily show you some of the things that you can do with this mount arm. This time I've switched to my Sony camera on as my webcam behind my monitor, enabling me to add this mouse cam that you can see on the right hand side of the screen, which if I just turn the camera a little bit so you can see. So I've basically got the Streamplify cam mounted to the top of the mount arm via that cold shoe rail and then we've got that light panel that I mentioned earlier just acting as a bit of a fill light just to add some depth to the lighting which I'll show you the difference that, that makes just lights this side of my face a little bit better so the Streamplify mic is on the end attached to the threaded end of the mount arm all of the attachments and the cable clips and stuff are on top of the mount arm itself, which there's nothing to stop you attaching the phone mount there if you want to, to attach your phone or a tablet so you can look at chat if you've only got one monitor, like I said earlier, and then adding lights like I have just to easily position them a bit closer to you to get some good quality lighting. But the, the glow light is up to my left behind my desk, as you saw before, clamped to the back of my desk. And this is how easy it is to get a simple streaming setup. This is the full cam setup. Obviously, you'd have your webcam smaller if you were in a game and just off to one side. We've got that mouse cam action if you fancy a bit of FPS streaming. But this is how Streamplify make it easy to set up a good looking stream. Versatility is the key word for this mount arm. That mount rail is a great feature, which I wish I'd had when I first started making videos for both KitGuru and for my own channel. The ease of positioning stuff, be that lights, a phone, cameras, or whatever, is just extremely convenient. Overall then, I'm, I'm really impressed with this Streamplify kit. The old saying does ring slightly true, you get what you pay for. And when you opt for more budget oriented gear like this, there's always going to have to be a compromise somewhere. And I feel that Streamplify have made these compromises in the right areas to keep the costs down and provide an affordable way for gamers who fancy creating some content to get stuck in. The glow light is tremendous for the money. The light it puts out is high quality. The adjustability will make it suitable for even the pickiest of creators. And the price is as competitive as you'll find. I might end up picking up a pair of these for my own content creation going forward. The mount arm is good. It didn't impress me as much as the light, partly because of my setup though, as anything mounted to it will be a little bit out of camera. That, that's a nitpick that's really specific to me. It's about where you position it. It's a really versatile product that I'm sure many people will find really creative uses for. I'm going to echo what Andy said in his video and say that Streamplify are really achieving their goal of simplifying streaming with affordable gear. You don't need to spend a fortune to create good content. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a like down below if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to KitGuru to keep, with the, keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews. And go down into the video's description if you want to find links to our Discord server, our website, our merch store, or our Patreon page if you want to check any of that out. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt. This has been some new products from Streamplify. I'll speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. See you later.